Hello and welcome. The news of the night is the outbreak of hostilities between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Is this the beginning of the third Nagorno-Karabakh war? At the beginning, I need to emphasize that right now the source uh, situation is extremely uh, tense, extremely weak. We can't really confirm, for instance, that this video is actually is actually showing Azerbaijani artillery firing on Armenia. It might even be from a different war, for all I know. The situation is clear. Fighting has broken out, and this supposedly shows Azerbaijani uh, artillery, rocket artillery firing on the Armenian side. It's probably BM-21 Grad, uh, multiple launch rocket system firing into Armenia. And that's the important part. The fighting isn't in Nagorno-Karabakh, it's in Armenia proper. The uh, attacks happened along the northern part, basically the center of the country, but at the northern part of the former occupied um, buffer zone, as well as in the center along to the south. The An Armenian representative said, an Armenian military base in Sotk was completely destroyed. That's here. And um, also an Armenian ammo dump, uh, ammo storage facility in Yermuk was hit and it seems completely destroyed. We have a video here which is supposedly showing the artillery fire on the horizon. We can listen in for a moment. And this is supposedly the aftermath. So if that those um, recordings are actually true, then uh, an Armenian ammo storage facility has likely been destroyed. The there's also reports of the Armen of two Armenian S three hundred batteries being destroyed by Bayraktar TB two from the Azerbaijanis. There are other reports about Azerbaijani planes being shot down, about intensive other fighting, but I have not found any source which is at least to some degree credible. So this is no more than rumors at, at this time. And while we add rumors, uh, we can also say both sides accuse the other side of instigating the fighting. As we see here, the Ministry of Defense of Armenia is saying that the Azerbaijani side started shelling at, um, at um, five minutes after midnight. And um, the, the Azerbaijanis say the fighting was begun by the Armenians uh, by large-scale provocations in, in other publications. I read their report that they claim Armenian sabotage troops tried to cross the border into Azerbaijan and were fired upon. What uh, Armenians, Armenian media and Armenian social media has claimed uh, ground invasion has begun. This at least is denied by the, by the Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense. So um, if they don't lie then at least as of now it's not a ground defense a ground invasion but as said as of right now the information um, sources are really thin we all we know is that fighting has begun and i try to get together for you i try to find whatever i can combine for you to give you at least some insight in what happened there are reports also that um, on martuni there was a uh, an attack with iai harop um, suicide drones, we can hear them here in the background. The hum, the characteristic hum that is known from the second Nagorno-Karabakh war. And they were supposedly used against Martuni. Uh, IAI, Israeli aircraft industry, Harab, are in the possession of the Azerbaijani forces. In At 2, 3, um, 230 o'clock, so 2.30, in the morning, supposedly there was already a ceasefire being negotiated. There was also a phone call from the Armenian president with the Russian president. But the latest reports are that fighting is still going on. I will keep you updated as soon as we have more information. But that's it for now. And here again, thank you so much for the support for this channel. Um, without you, this channel, without viewers like you, this channel wouldn't be possible. If you want to support the channel, you can do so with the uh, links in the description and um, 
as of now, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the, a sad topic, but I hope you enjoyed my report. Then I would be happy for a thumbs up if you leave a comment for the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want to invite you to subscribe and recommend the channel to friends and acquaintances. And don't forget the bell button. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I'll be back.